What would you say to someone who continues to sort of support the IRA? They might not know a lot about it, but as I said, we get a lot of this online at the moment where people, it's particularly around the Black and Tan song, mm. uh, come out you Black and Tan, they, they mm. do TikTok trends, they do dances, they promote mm. this stuff without really knowing what they're looking into, or if they do know what they're into, again, we've had a few comments where people have said the violence was justified because of British colonialism. What would you say to those people? There's never, never is violence justified anywhere. You know, like like we've been discussing tonight, we, we have Northern Ireland, we have Wales, we have Scotland, we have England. The English, the Welsh, the Scots haven't reverted to the bomb and the bullet. But some factions in Northern Ireland and, and Southern Ireland have. So there's no justification. People on TikTok, um, I think a lot of them, the vast majority of them, do it for um, effect do it to get some kind of response. And we have to decipher who is genuine and who isn't. Um, unfortunately, the internet can be a real, real good place, but equally, we all know it can be a real, real bad place. And it attracts all the wrong people for all the wrong reasons. If somebody's got any questions about how it affects people, then I'm, speak to me. Speak, ask me a question. I'm not going to lie to anyone. I'm not going to glamorize anything. I, I will, I'll be honest with you. And I will say to these people who say violence is justified, imagine it was one of your family members, it was your father, it was your mother that had a nail straight through her heart. Are you going to tell me then that, that that's justified? I, I think not. I've also heard that, and, and again, this is a narrative from, from Sinn Féin, that we should forget it now. The past should stay in the past. It, it is, like, like we were saying, 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago now. But for me, this is not the past. This is my presence. I live this every single day of my life. Not just me, but Dennis Hutchins, who's now, I think he's in, in, his, in his 80s now, trying to get being taken through the, the courts in Northern Ireland. We live this every single day. So if, you, if you're on TikTok, if you've got any questions, then please feel free. Contact me. I'll speak to you. I'm not going to, I'm not, just, I'm, I'm sure you know, I'm not the type of person who um, is abusive. Um, I try to debate things properly, sensibly and rationally. And if, and if they've got, a, and if they're saying that violence is justified and women and children are being blown up and maimed and the, 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 you know saying blown up is, is a bit of a throwaway comment or, or statement when you get blown up your body is ripped apart Let, let's have it right that's what blown up means you are blown to pieces so if you've got omar and in the and you've got people that attend the cenotaph ser service and they get ripped ap apart by by bombs Justify that to me. I would ask them that question. You're saying violence is justified. How? <laughs> How can you justify it? Explain to me, because I would like to know. Because like I say, as intelligent as I like to think I am, for some reason, that plausible justification escapes me.